Item Number SCP-2430 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2430 is to be held in a standard humanoid containment cell at Site-17. Tissue samples extracted from SCP-2430 are to be disposed of after analysis via incineration of said samples. SCP-2430 is a humanoid entity with a physical appearance identical to the late Adolf Hitler. 1889-1945, measuring at 173cm in height and 72kg in mass. Its internal body systems are consistent with those of non-anomalous humans, although its organs are functionless. SCP-2430 physical state deviates from non-anomalous humans in the following aspects. DNA analysis indicates that SCP-2430's genetic makeup is derived from a combination of Suscrofa, wild boar, and Camper agragoras hercus, domestic goat. Furthermore, SCP-2430's skeletal system is identified to be an amalgamation of bones from eight different individuals. The identities of these individuals are unknown. Brain matter is composed of a mixture from a specimen of Escrofa and C. agragoras hercus. No requirement for food, water, or air, despite the presence of a digestive and respiratory system. Modifications to its nervous system, such that pain sensitivity is heightened. Lack of hair follicles. Instead, synthetic hair strands have been attached on the SCP-2430's head and face such that they resemble the late Hitler's hair and mustache. Inability to produce speech. Traces of potassium cyanide and lead fragments identified in SCP-2430's bloodstream and subcutis respectively. SCP-2430's anomalous quality is its capacity to regenerate muscle and skin tissues, allowing it to recover from injuries and regrow organs, such as heart and lungs, that have been removed from its body. Wounds and incisions on SCP-2430's body will regenerate within three days after causation, while organ regeneration requires up to two weeks. See Document 2430-A for a complete list of organ regeneration rates. However, SCP-2430's regenerative capacity does not encompass damage to its skeletal system and healing rate of bone fractures is similar to that of non-anomalous humans. Tissue samples extracted from SCP-2430 do not possess this regenerative capacity. SCP-2430 was recovered in Buenos Aires, Argentina on 1960 in the residence of the late who was associated with Obscura, initially discovered by Mossad agents who had captured SCP-2430 was extradited to the Foundation upon discovery of its anomalous properties and Mossad agents' inability to terminate SCP-2430. Addendum 2431 The following note was found in the residence of Translated from German I managed to rescue the Fuhrer and bring him to safety, but he is effectively dead on the inside. I blame the Reds for their inhumane treatment of the Fuhrer, who may have been bewitched by the Reds' Wunderwaffe. I wish we could mercy kill him, but we've tried everything. He just won't perish. Don't abandon him. He's too distinct in plain sight. Addendum 2432 The following notes were recovered from GRU Division P headquarters after the organization's collapse in 1991, which were the organization's only surviving documentation on SCP-2430, all of which have been translated from Russian. December 1, 1943 among the items of interest recovered from the Obscura Corps subcamp in Genoska, they include about a hundred pieces of the flesh of Seyrimnir, with human skeletons embedded in each of them. They are humanoid-shaped and can regrow any piece cut from them, so long as there is the skeleton. Essentially, they are effectively machines coated in meat. June 13, 1945 Regarding application of the flesh of Seyrimnir, Comrade Stalin has personally reviewed and rejected the proposed project Einherjar. Instead, Comrade Stalin has proposed and approved an alternative, Project Udeka. December 28, 1947 Comrade Stalin has personally reviewed the prototypes. Their inability to perceive pain will not do. It is not in line with the goals of Project Udeka. February 24, 1948 Escort the Yurlik Fleshcrafters to Moscow Headquarters. They are commissioned to assist in Project Udeka abiding by Comrade Stalin's specifications. On the behalf of the Union and the Soviet people, the right to claim true victory and justice over Hitler shall be realized. 
April 17, 1950, in exchange for their cooperation in Project Udeka, 4,000 kg of the flesh of Saya Remnir will be presented to a representative of the Yurlik Fleshcrafters. In other news, Comrade Stalin wishes to initiate a private trial against Hitler. May 9, 1951 It is Victory Day. Comrade Stalin will be gracing Hitler's cage after attending the parade. This year, he requests the witness to write a news again. Interrogators, please see to it. May 6, 1953 Comrade Stalin is dead. We have no need to keep Hitler here. No point in wasting bullets on him, he does not die. Just bury him discreetly. He's a waste of the flesh of Saiyan Rimnir.